Hello guys! It's been a long time since I published a tutorial video. Ngayon ay muli ako nagbabalik para pag-usapan ang mga pwede nating gamitin sa new normal classroom setup. On today's episode, we are going to talk about the G Suite. Ano pang hinihintay nating lahat? Simula na natin! So ngayon, ano nga ba ang pumapasok sa isip natin kapag narinig natin ang salitang Google? Kadalasan kasi, kapag sinabing Google, ay, dyan lang nagsusearch. Dyan tayo magsusearch kung ano nga ba yung mga tanong sa assignment ni teacher. So, para sa kaalaman ng lahat, Google Search Engine is used to obtain information about someone or something on the World Wide Web. So, isang trivia lang, no? Kapag sinabi nating World Wide Web, ito yung www. Yung bago yung pinaka-address ng ating domain na gustong puntahan. Katulad na lang sa Facebook, www.facebook.com So, ang ibig sabihin ng www. ay World Wide Web. So, ito ang itsura ng Google. Diyan tayo nagsusearch kung ano yung kailangan nating malaman. Sa Facebook naman tayo nagsusearch kung sino yung gusto nating i-stalk. So ngayon, ano nga ba ang G Suite? Ang G Suite ay binubuo ng mga sumusunod. Gmail, Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, Calendar, at Google Classroom. So, isa-isahin natin kung ano-ano ba yung mga yan. So, bago yun, saan nga ba pwedeng gamitin ang G Suite? Ano-ano yung mga operating system na pwede nitong paggamitan at saan sila compatible? Ang Google Suite ay compatible sa mga iOS devices na ginagamit sa Android, I mean sa Apple at Android phones na kadalasang meron tayo kasi budget-friendly phone ang Android at sa mga Chromebook. So, what is Google Suite? G Suite is a collection of business, productivity, collaboration, and education software developed and powered by Google. The primary G Suite tools include Gmail, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, Calendar, and Meet. So, yung mga yun, yung mga platform ng G Suite na gagamitin natin sa new normal teaching and learning. May bayad ba ang Google? or ang G Suite? Ang sagot, wala. Dahil ang lahat ng ito ay libre nating magagamit. Diyan tayo magaling sa libre. So, wala itong bayad as long as meron tayong account sa Google. So, kapag gumawa tayo ng account sa Google, automatic magagamit na natin itong mga ito ng libre. So, ngayon, pagkumparahan natin yung dalawa. Sa word processing, si Google merong Docs. Samantalang si Microsoft merong Word. Yun yung kaibahan nilang dalawa. Bukod doon, si Google kasi ay online. Samantalang si Microsoft, offline. Kapag sinabi natin online, kailangan may internet. Kapag sinabi natin offline, pwedeng walang internet. So, sa slideshow creation, si Google may slides. Samantalang si Microsoft may PowerPoint. Sa paggawa naman ng data at info organization, si Google may sheets. Samantalang si Microsoft may Excel. Sa paggawa naman ng survey, quizzes, at iba pa, Si Google may Forms, samantalang si Microsoft may Microsoft Forms. So, dito sa Google Forms, 
Dito kayo sa sagot sa mga test sa mga quizzes na ibibigay ng inyong mga teacher. So, Google Classroom. It is a hub for Google Apps and more. Ang gamit ng Google Classroom, ito yung pinakagagamitin natin para sa asynchronous learning. Bakit? Kasi dito mag upload si teacher ng mga activity sheets at si students, dito niya sasagutan gamit yung iba, ibang G Suite application like forms, like Google Docs and Slides or anything na, na kaya ni Google. Then, ipapasa din ng student sa Google Classroom papunta kay teacher. So, Google Documents can be shared to anybody connected to you. As long as alam mo yung email address niya, pwede mong i-share yung gawa mo sa kanya. So, we can collaborate with our co-teachers or students and can work with one app at the same time. So, it has real-time editing. So, for example, lahat tayo may access dun sa document na yun na nasa Google. So, kapag nag-edit ako, makikita nyo lahat yung ina-edit ko. Tapos, kapag may ginawa kayong bago, may tinipe kayo dun, makikita ko rin yun habang ina-edit nyo siya. So, paano nga ba i-access yung G Suite applications? So, i-click nyo lang yung, yung nine dots or also known as the waffle icon sa tapat ng picture ninyo. Tapos, lalabas na yung iba't ibang platform ng G Suite. So, kapag kinlik nyo yan, mapupunta na kayo doon. So, bago natin makalimutan, si Gmail, a Gmail account is free Google account with an email address that ends in at gmail.com Pero, kapag may G Suite account, it ends with at gelges.manila at edu.com PH. Yan ay para sa mga Hainians. Exclusive yung domain account na yun. So, Gmail is an email service provider. It is a platform to send and receive emails. So, kung meron kayong gustong isend kay teacher, pwede nyo rin kami i-email. Ibibigay namin sa inyo yung aming email account. Yan ang itsura ng Gmail. So, Google Drive. Google Drive is an online file storage service that gives you 15 gigabytes of cloud storage for free. You can use it to create documents and store, share folders, and files with other people. Google Drive integrates with Google other apps like Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides, and more. Pwede din tayo mag-upload ng video dyan kung kanino lang natin gustong i-share. So, sabi dyan, uh, 15 gigabyte storage lang yung free para sa atin. Pero, kung G Suite account yung gamit natin, it has unlimited storage. So, kapag na-reach kasi natin yung 15 gigabytes at hindi G Suite account yung gamit natin, baka magbayad na tayo. Pero, since merong G Suite account ang mga taga na, so, unlimited file storage yung pwede nating ilagay dyan. So, Google Docs. Google Docs is a word processor included as part of a free web-based so software office suite offered by Google within its Google Drive service. Tulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, kapag Microsoft ang gamit, word yon. Pero kapag online at si Google ang gamit, sa Docs na yon. Same lang siya, same features lang din siya halos with Microsoft Word. Kaya kung familiar na kayo sa paggamit ng Microsoft Word, hindi na kayo mahihirapan sa paggamit ng Google Docs. So, Google Sheets. It is a spreadsheet program included as part of a free web-based surface. Ulit. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program included as part of a free web-based sur surface office suite offered by Google within its Google Drive service. So, 
ito yung Microsoft Excel offline. Pero, almost the same lang siya. So, user-friendly, madali natin maintindihan kung paano yung paggamit ng mga G Suite platform. So, Google Slides is a presentation program included as part of a free web-based soft software office suite offered by Google within its Google Drive service. Slides allows users to create and edit presentations online while collaborating with other users in real time. Edits are tracked by user with a revision history that tracks changes to the presentation. So another trivia, no? Sa Microsoft PowerPoint ko nga pala ginawa yung graduation program 2020. So it is very useful for us, especially ngayon kasi pwede pala tayong gumawa ng slideshow presentation using the Microsoft PowerPoint and also with the Google Slides. Google Calendar. Google Calendar allows users to create and edit events. Reminders can be enabled for events with options available for type and time. Event locations can also be added and other users can be invited to the event. So, dito sa Google Calendar, for example, si teacher gusto niya kayong i-meet sa ganitong araw at oras. So, pwede niyang gamitin si Calendar para ma-remind yung mga students kung anong oras ba kayo i-meet ni teacher through Google Meet. So, ngayon, let's talk about the Google Meet. Google Meet is a video communication service developed by Google. It is one of two apps that constitute the new version of Google Hangouts. The other being Google Chat, Google plan to begin retiring the classic version of Hangouts in October 2019. So dahil nga bawal ang face-to-face -face sa ngayon, dito tayo mag-face-to-face teaching and learning gamit si Google Meet. Dito lang tayo magkikita. It is one way for us to see each other kasi nga online. So dito rin kami magpe-present ng aming lesson kapag synchronous ang schedule ninyo. So paano nga ba papasok sa Google Meet? So may isesend si teacher sa inyo na link at i-click nyo lang yung link at i-click nyo yung join now. Kapag na-click nyo na yung join now, makakapasok na kayo sa online classroom ni teacher. Now, let's move on to Google Forms. Google Forms is a tool that allows collecting information from users via a personalized survey or quiz. The information is then collected and automatically connected to a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is populated with the survey and quiz responses. So, ang gamit ni Google Forms para sa online education ay para bigyan namin kayo ng quiz gamit itong form na ito. Pwede rin na after, right after yung sagutan yung quiz na yun, makikita nyo na kagad yung scores ninyo. So, wala nang checking. Automatic checking na kasi gamit si Google Forms. So, hindi na kayo maghihirapan mag-exchange papers with your seatmates. At sana lang, no cheating. Tandaan, honesty is the best policy. Again, honesty is the best policy. And an honest man is the noblest work of God. Google Classroom. It is a free web service developed by Google for schools that aims to simplify creating, distributing, and grading assignments. The primary purpose of Google Classroom is to streamline the process of sharing files between teachers and students. So, sharing files between teachers and students. So, dito kami mag upload ng activity sheets at dito nyo rin ipapasa yung activity sheets ninyo. Paano nga ba papasok sa Google Classroom? Yan ang susunod nating pag-uusapan sa susunod kong video.
Kaya, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel and tap the notification bell for more updates. This is Louis Anzel P. Gonzalvo. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.